If you like my video, please call to subscribe my YouTube channel and enable notification so that you can get my latest technical analysis in timely. Good evening everybody, my name is Jason Wong. Today I would like to share about Sinotop holding the heart then uh, followed by another two stock which is GDEX and also ENL, uh, ENO and first of all I would like to introduce right um, this Sinotop holding the heart which is demonstrate a very bullish signal reason being is because of there's two reasons the first is like see the top um, in top of the elevated perspective that I can insist it is formed three consecutive weight degrees pointing to north which is give us a very bullish implication first of all wave three in the elevated theory is the most stronger and longest weight degree and now just imagine now we are in a three consecutive weight tree how is developed and it is it is a we call it a standard weight tree as well okay anyway um, let me go through the chatting okay so first of all and the main trend we have like a wave one two right three um, the first target of a weight tree typically will be 86 cent or 87 cent. The previous video I put the extract here um, is either A, B, and C. Now I think pretty much it show it is a wave tree instead of a A, B, C because of we do have a couple of internal wave degree structure is like also telling us a kind of like wave wave tree. Now so the second wave degree is this is the one two and three and looking at the first level of 60 cent is a way three darker if let's say go beyond this 60 cent likely will go to 75 cent and then the third way degree will be from here right we'll point here and here okay this is a b and c and the darker will be 75 cent you're looking at the Three conservative weight degree target, right? I would say once the trend is go above 60 cent, likely it will go to 75 cent, is which is a which is a um, conservative weight tree. Okay, then from there we should go to some collection and heading to 85, 85 cent. On top of that, we also see like uh, some sort like a uh, triangle formation looking at here right this turn line basically is a triangle right and with triangle breakout typically the very conservative uh, darker will be 65 with this it's very high chances right tomorrow or day after tomorrow I mean next week right will be continue to rise right heading to target of minimum target of 75 Okay, with that, let me some sort of like through the projection how the trend likely will be developed. Okay, and come to this level, this tree. Okay, this level three. It might go to some collection prior to further going up. From here, I not really able to draw everything because of it's still under very early stage, right? And eventually, after the collection finish, right, it's going to be another wave up to five. This is four, okay. And to me, the target for this stock, for midterm, likely will be go to one dollar, okay. And um, this is just a sharing, right? It's not a, a trading plan, right? Okay, let's move on to next stock, which is GDEX, right? GDEX also is under my larger screen, okay. Now. GDEX this stock um last couple of days right there is a very bullish signal which is a long we call it Marabazu but somehow the the result um is turned out to be not as good as um investor anticipated that's why it's gap down but with the gap down there's a very strong signal right uh, we look at this trend line it's straight above this trend line and in fact uh, today it is off all the mop up all the D3 
and default kind of like a control player which is stuck probably here and um, probably I expected right um, the next very soon you're gonna break you're gonna break above this uh, 44 cent okay which is like once it's broke below 44 and half cent the next target gonna be 50 cent followed by 55 cent based on the Fibonacci projection of course we need to look at the resistance right okay now I would say very conservative target why right? once it break about 44 cent then you're going to be uh, go to a uh, 50 cent round this uh, round number okay we break about 50 cent then probably I will going to have a next video if you like to have like the real time or the update training manner so you probably can subscribe my uh, YouTube channel next move on to the next um, counter which is uh, ENO and ENO is typically is a team play is coming from about the property counter uh, ENO and you're looking at I, I do do some sort of pre-analysis you look at here we look at the big picture this stock is uh, having a downtrend I right? keep lower low and lower low and lower high one thing is uh, pulling my attention is it was first the downtrend major downtrend channel is been broke okay you know, look at here it's broke the first level come back to retest now now the second time we come back to here okay which is test the immediate is what is what the, it was rejected by the midterm curve of a downtrend look at here right this midterm we're connecting the point to here right this is the pivot my right? 60 cent right it's a pivot for us to determine like a downtrend is over is now it's still like downtrending but we can capitalize could be a very major reversal whereby it's a the most of the meat we can get okay of course a certain risk of more to me now what is what it is all about now like it was uh, rejected for the midterm downtrend okay now today it was seem to be like we challenge right what is i anticipating likely tomorrow right of the day after tomorrow you're going to challenge 47 half cent so what happened is one the challenge this 40 half cent i do anticipating right the first target will be equal to 66 cent followed by Right, followed by this uh, high call, I would say is of a 50 cent region. What does it mean here is right, 55 cent region is a pretty, a pretty um, we call a conservative target, right? Based on current situation, right, the bull market seem to be like rebound, right? And also, um, E and O we seem to be like another property counter people is aiming, right? If you like my video, please share and um. Leave a message if you have any question. I will take a time to respond back to you. Thank you very much.